Hello guys, this is a on the spur of the moment review. I just downloaded downloaded Avira's 2010 version from their beta test website. It's uh, the installer's 37.7 megabytes. Installs really quickly. It's even faster than the previous versions. Uh, and they've changed their interface around a little bit. So let's open this up. All right. So you can see it's got a little differences here. Uh, nice check marks. Unfortunately, I already installed this. I was planning on installing uh, to show you guys, but um, unfortunately, I had it installed here, and you know, I figured I'd just throw this off, considering I didn't want to reset the virtual machine install again. But it was pretty easy, uh, just like any other Avira installer. Uh, it does have parental control, and it's giving me this yellow symbol because I don't have that enabled. No big deal. I don't use parental control. So if we look, you can see events, you can see reports, uh, you can print, you can edit, you can delete reports, local protection, scanner. It's just like the other Avira uh, scanner systems. Um, so nothing special there. The guard shows you the last unwanted program found. Um, it's basically the exact same as the other Avira. Um, nothing specific. You have a little control here. Um, but again, nothing really different. So there's no major change in the suite. Although I don't know if the previous version had backup. I can't remember that. So I'm just going to go under local protection and I'm going to do some configuration here. The default settings are great. Um, smart extensions is fine just because um, you don't need to scan all files because this will only check potentially malicious files. Uh, Guard, again, smart extensions. I'm going to check expert mode here. Proactive, definitely activate proactive. Uh, proactive is their new kind of behavioral analysis. It's an application filter. So you can look at blocked and allowed. Um, reports. I don't really want to change any heuristics on this stuff. Because the default heuristic is great. On the scanner, you always want to set the heuristics on high. But the guard, it doesn't it's not really necessary. Because, because it's not um it's just gonna be too annoying with the false positives. And you can set set the heuristics on this anti bot. So it's just a lot of settings here. Um, you can set application rules. It's filtering those. Avira, unfortunately, no matter what, has a weak firewall. Well, you can see a bug right here. That's in German. Yeah. So I'm gonna, um, I guess... Right here, I'm just going to check a few of these off because I don't, um, I wanted to scan a few of those. Alright, that way it'll check all of those. Now, I'm going to do this review in a slightly different way. I'm just going to open up Internet Explorer. And I'm going to go to my malware domain list dot com I don't advise you just poke around here it's not safe and I'm just gonna start punching in URLs Avira blocks that one I'm gonna find a different kind of one here and, here. and we're just gonna start start up uh, punching this stuff in and honestly Avira's web guard is just like amazing right now.
Well, this one gets through, but it crashes. So, so far, nothing that works is actually um, getting picked up here. And that was adware. So, in essence, it wasn't such a big problem. But honestly, I'm just going down this list here, and it's just picking up every single thing. And I'm in no way uh, expecting it to do this well, but it's just nothing's getting past this program here. It's almost predictable what the next URL would do. It's just going to pop up and it's going to say it's blocking it. And after we've done a few of these, I am going to move over to a different list. And we're going to see how it does on the different list. It's a broken link. Oh, hang on, let me try this one. I have never tested a program that does this well. Um, this is absolutely amazing. I'm finding this, you know, I can try one of these text files. Um, yeah, it even blocks these malicious text files. I just, you know, nothing's... Nothing's getting it here. And I'm getting towards the bottom. I've tried a varied selection of different things. Try this Trojan. It's a broken link. Let's try this Trojan. Blocks it. Now let's go to malwarebytes.org and... Go to their forums. And let's go to their uh, oh newest malware threats. I haven't seen this one before. I guess they've kind of updated and I haven't been here recently. So we're just going to punch a few of these in, see how it does. And the reason I'm trying it this way instead of having a text file full of different links is because I already um, I already went and just threw a few things at it and it looked like it did pretty well. So you see here, this is a scan result from the uh, the files a file I just threw at it and it blocked. And just its scanning engine here didn't pick up um, the file. So, obviously, Avira's heuristics are doing quite nicely. Because I'm assuming more than half of, uh, more than half of these, uh, app oh, I already did this. More than half of these applications are probably being picked up heuristically. And heuristics means analysis by mathematics. And, uh... Network event. So, Avira kind of pops up with this network event here. I guess we'll click... Deny. I think this is Avira's alert. We come over here. Local protection, online protection firewall. I don't know. I don't really see anything. I have to stop this video. But if we look at my task manager, that's the only one running. So after all those links, nothing got through. Bye, guys.